Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle and I have a new haul here for us today. This is a little lot that I picked up on the weekend for $10, I think I got it for. I believe it's mostly necklaces, but we're going to rip in here and see what we have. If you haven't already, click subscribe. Um, or you can click my channel icon down in the corner there, that little circle with the two little robots in love. And that'll take you right to my channel where you'll find playlists of hauls that I've done in the past and videos galore and um, lots of sparklies. So click subscribe. If you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I post. And yeah, then we can hang out again and dig for some jewelry. So let's get started with this one. Things are a little bit different today. Um, I'm filming at home and normally I film inside of my light box, but today I'm not. I'm just at my desk. It's such a beautiful, nice, sunny day. I've got my Monet book here, um, inspired by Hudson Vintage, Dawn, of course. I want to collect all of the books because this one has been so fun to own. And then outside, it's just a beautiful day, nice and sunny. So I thought, let's just film it this way. I don't want to try and squeeze everything inside of a light box. And you must forgive the fingernails. <laughs> they look so bad. I spent time, I did, I did multiple layers and I dried in between and, and then I went crazy cleaning my house yesterday and things just stripped the clear coat off and I've got that shabby chic French tip thing happening here and gouges and anyway I thought I'd rather make a video than redo my nails so here we are we're just gonna do it take me or leave me all right let's pull the one out here this one is one that caught my eye in the ad because it's one of my favorite colors it's this frosted green uh, necklace here and it is like an acrylic it doesn't feel it's not glass for sure but that's pretty it's got a, a toggle toggle clasp at the back here and a little flower dark silver pendant it looks like it maybe is repurposed or something it's got the two um, the two rings there makes me think it was for a bracelet so these are kind of cool here too, a little like medallion pieces. Anyway, I really like the look of that necklace. And there's another one in my favorite green here. Let's pull that one out here. So that one is a glass, glass bead. The big pendant in the middle is glass for sure. Ooh, I love that color. What is it, like a chartreuse or peridot or lime I don't care what you call it I like it and I like that pendant the beads yeah they're glass too so it's all just a bunch of glass green glass beads and it's super pretty and it's a toggle clasp as well love that I'm gonna keep some earring stuff off to the side here uh, oh, here's a chip necklace. It looks like amethyst. It's pretty purple. It could be garnet, but it's pretty darn purple, isn't it? So it's strung with little black seed beads on a wire. And it's a double strand. Like these. It's very short. It would be a choker. A choker length. But that's one that will end up in the chip bowl. There's my chip bowl. I've got all the different chip necklaces that I find in in here. Um, this is my first one that I collected. It's carnelian and it's so cute. They're so tiny. But yeah, that's where that guy will go as well. Into the chip bowl. Here's another glass bead necklace, black and clear. I'm wondering, yeah, same kind of toggle. So somebody Somebody has crafted both of those, but they're they're well done and they're nice glass beads. So I think that's pretty nice. 
And here's a pair of earrings. It looks like coral, kind of. Oops, dingle dangle. Coral danglies with these little crystals up near the shepherd's hook. I kind of like those, actually. I might have to wear those. <laughs> yeah, I like them. Nothing marked on them. There's a bit of wear, like, around the edges of those teardrop shapes. You can see. But I like the kind of rough nature of it, and it is reminding me of coral. I don't know if that was meant to, but that's what I'm getting out of it. Here is a shell necklace. It's got an amoeba attached. <laughs> Some sort of design. Swoopty duped. And we've got a variety of shell pieces here. Um, is that shell or stone? Do you belong in the chip bowl? Does this belong in the chip bowl? I don't know. Another toggle clasp. Wow. Whoever this was really enjoyed a good toggle clasp. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Is it shell or is it stone? I think it's shell. It's got like a mother of pearliness to it. So anyway, I don't think that it's going to go into the chip bowl. Um, next up. Some snaggery here. Hang on. There we go. Big piece of shell. Kind of dirty. Fun colors though. Nice iridescence. And it's just on this seed bead. Now, I'm a fan of having a good... Oops. Things got cut off there. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I was just saying that I'm a fan of having a good staple black bead necklace um this one's got a bit of a kink in it because of the the shell piece but uh i like this as a black necklace on its own speaking of black necklaces there's this other one it's got a similar um shape pendant as that first that green one there so it's just going to be black glass beads but really cool shapes very geometric we've got cubes and we've got bicones and discs and it is on a toggle clasp as well. So someone's been bead crafty. Now this one might end up in the chip bowl, I think, because we've got pieces of coral. And it's either on onyx or maybe jet. I don't know a lot about jet. Is jet actually glass? I'm not sure. Let's get in closer and see if we can see some variation in the, the black here. Any clues about what it might be i don't know they're cool though i think i think they belong in the chip in the chip bowl <laughs> i'll have to look into it a bit more i'll move this guy out of the way uh okay next up we've got oh golly that's a tangle okay how do you go Ew, it's sticky. Oh, no. Oh, no, you guys. This is not good. Um, okay. Ah, I've lo located the clasp. So that's a good first step. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. Oh, God. The red balls are, the red beads are sticky. Really tacky. Um, I think in this case, I would remove this black rose and put it on a new something and just ditch. Ew. Is there stuff on me now? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ew. Quit touching it. Why did I touch it again? This is kind of cool. There's a lot going on here. Holy. Um, so we have a toggle clasp. That's what I'm going to call this one. The toggle clasp. What should we call it? Toggle clasp Ziploc necklace bonanza. Is this a bonanza? You guys, are we having a bonanza here? Okay, this is kind of kind of slick, kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. So it's a multi-strand. I really like this, you guys multi-strand on a dark bronzy chain it's got a toggle clasp 
and it's got stone so these are stone they got a good clack ability and just the look of them I guess makes me say dyed howlite and then there's these little cabochons that match and the pendant the center pendant is like this and I think that's so pretty I love the colors I love the eclectic mix that's happening here yeah I think that's really cool that's a great necklace uh, okay next necklace is this guy a silver tone crescent choker I guess that's gonna be a choker it's gonna sit right at the nape of the neck and then it's got some blue stone chips huh let's get closer to that and have a good look at them the chips that is hmm so I don't think that it's turquoise it's kind of messy you can see the resin in there <clears throat> excuse me the resin in there it could even just be dyed shell bits I suppose the chain is nice and it's on a spring ring clasp no marks of any kind hmm interesting enough though that should that should sell for someone for the summertime here's one that's jumped out at me just a uh, clear barrel bead with the bicone beads in between clear and blue and then the pendant is this flower in a silver tone like aspirin setting with a rhinestone in the middle it's very simple and small and pretty very pretty and ooh, mama this one's heavy hey we saw a clasp a toggle clasp just like this recently in the Harry Black bag haul but in bronze and here's one from a different a different person even I didn't get the get it from the same person um, but yeah this is oof that's heavy double strand glass bead and it's that crackle glass hey okay? in a dark smoky color and clear and then in between there's UFOs silver UFOs let's get closer to have a better look at that Wow Ooh, it's really pretty and like I said it is super heavy shockingly heavy but I like that very much I don't know will I wear it maybe it's kind of small it seems a little small for my neck this bag is really catering to my chip bowl it's a good thing I brought it down look at this okay so here's a rose quartz one with some rose quartz chips little seed beads in between and then the pendant is just a loosely wire wrapped piece of rose quartz I would prefer this without that piece I'm not a fan of wire wrap let alone just like this crudely done but I like a piece of rose quartz and I like a uh, rose quartz chips I'm gonna put them right in there hey which other one can I put in there this one I'm gonna put that one in there too <laughs> one day I'll go through it and sell them but for now I like to collect them so here we have another chip necklace with a sort of a snowflake obsidian hmm that's kind of cool I like how that fans out there at the bottom really pretty that can go in the chips and another one another chip necklace now this is different this has a chatoyancy like um, like tiger's eye does it's do you see that oof maybe you can't let me zoom see how it shifts and especially in the chips I'm really noticing it what is that it's not translucent 
it looks like tiger's eye but darker like redder almost i think the red beads in between are enhancing that but what what could that be if it's not tar tiger's eye hmm interesting but it's chips nonetheless okay. let's dump out the rest of this bag here just a few items left Oh, here's another one like that blue flower, but same, same, but pink. Pretty. That would be good for a couple of sisters. Maybe a couple of nieces that I happen to know. And next here is... Let's see. Ah. Glass seed bead multi-strand purple colors and look at that pendant that's fun to look at isn't it hmm yeah it's got a lot of depth okay there it's pretty huh curious and then the beads are like this it's a really nice soft purple, like it's not like grape bubblicious purple. There's some iridescent -y ones in there as well, with little white cat's eye beads as well. Oh, look at that! I just solved a little tiny mystery. It was a tiny mystery that none of you even knew was a mystery. Look at on that what bead there, the red. And here, right, the red. It's these little stinkers rubbing off on things in that bag. Gross. Well, hopefully that wipes off because it is a pretty necklace right there. I like that. And another piece of glass. This is on a little leather wire with a lobster clasp. But look at that yellow. I like the the yellow. I'm not a. F it looks like candy, truly, straight up lemon candy, set in a silver tone. Hmm, it's fun to look at, but I do not enjoy a necklace on this kind of leather cord, personally. And here's another one on a toggle clasp. So I think this lady makes bead necklaces obviously i think it's or she got this stuff from someone who does so this has those huge discs with the foil and then the blue turquoise square versions of the same and the little ones in between are like a darker blue as well it's a pretty good mix it's very short like i don't think i can wear it but it's pretty and I like a good glass bead necklace so this is kind of my jam I like this bag <laughs> um, and another one with the uh, foil inside of the glass this is pretty colors you could always add another little something on the bottom there too hey it's all ready for like a starfish or something to hang off of it there we go Wow short and sweet that one was not a lot going on there uh like i say just a whole bunch of necklaces i knew what i was getting into i knew that's what i was buying um i have to say that it is nicer quality stuff than i thought it was going to be this is my my winner winner chicken dinner here i love it um but i think i'll have no trouble selling pretty much all of these so if you see one that you like, it's going to be up in my eBay store at some point here as soon as I get a chance. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, click subscribe. Uh, my email and my eBay link to my eBay store is in the description below. And so you can email me if you have any questions. You can check out my eBay store. All my listings are on there. But before you go, please click subscribe like the video, click like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for joining me. And I'll talk to you again soon.